In the quiet stillness of self-reflection, the mind often asks profound questions. What makes a life well lived? How do the wise navigate the turbulence of existence? And most importantly, what should one avoid to preserve peace and purpose? An ancient Zen teaching offers an intriguing answer. A wise person does not strive to control the uncontrollable, cling to the impermanent, or seek approval from the unwise. These are not just philosophical ideas, they are guides to liberation from suffering and chaos. Through the lens of Zen and Buddhist philosophy, this story explores the three things an intelligent person avoids. As the narrative unfolds, it reveals practical insights that are deeply transformative and universally relevant. 1. Avoiding the Trap of Uncontrollable Desires In a serene mountain temple surrounded by whispers of bamboo trees, young seeker approached the Zen master. Master, he began, I seek to be wise. Tell me what I must do. The master paused, then said, Wisdom begins when you stop chasing what cannot be caught. Puzzled, the seeker asked, What cannot be caught? The master picked up a bowl and walked to the river. Scooping water into the bowl, he held it up. What do you see? Water, the seeker replied, the master tilted the bowl slightly, letting the water spill back into the river. Try to hold the water forever. No matter how tightly you grip, it will slip away. The seeker watched in silence. The same is true of uncontrollable desires, the master explained. Fame, wealth, and possessions, pursue them, and you will spend your life in endless thirst. They are like trying to hold water in a broken bowl. Satisfied, the seeker asked, what then should I pursue? Seek the timeless. Pursue virtues, peace of mind, and understanding. These cannot be taken from you, and they do not decay. This teaching reflects a central Buddhist concept, tanha, or craving, is the root of suffering. Desires for material gain, external validation, or control over others create endless dissatisfaction. Intelligent individuals recognize that the chase for what cannot be sustained only leads to frustration. Instead, they cultivate inner wealth, qualities like compassion, mindfulness, and contentment. 2. Avoiding attachment to the impermanent. Months later, the seeker returned to the master. This time, his face bore the marks of grief. Master, he said, I have lost what I cherished most. I do not know how to live with this pain. The master gestured for the seeker to follow him. They walked to a garden where a tree stood, its branches bare in the winter chill. This tree was once vibrant, full of flowers and fruit, the master said. Now it is barren. Does this mean it is dead? No, the seeker replied, it will bloom again in spring. The master smiled. Exactly. Everything in life changes. Nothing stays as it is. Why, then, do we cling so fiercely to what must pass? The seeker was silent, letting go does not mean forgetting, the master continued. It means accepting that life is a cycle. When we release our attachment to the impermanent, we free ourselves from unnecessary suffering. The seeker nodded, his grief easing into understanding, the Buddhist teaching of Anicca, impermanence, reminds us that all things, whether joyful or painful, are transient. Clinging to what is temporary leads to sorrow when it inevitably changes. Wise individuals embrace impermanence, finding peace in the natural flow of life. 3. Avoiding validation from the unwise, years later. The seeker, 
now a seasoned practitioner, faced a new challenge. His growing wisdom attracted both admiration and criticism. One day, a villager mocked him publicly, questioning his teachings and intentions, hurt and angry, the seeker turned to the master. Why do some people refuse to see the truth? Should I argue with them to defend my path? The master shook his head. A wise person does not seek the approval of those who do not understand wisdom. Imagine feeding a feast to someone who chooses to eat stones, they will neither taste the flavors nor appreciate the effort. Then what should I do? The seeker asked, focus on your path, the master said. The unwise cannot hinder your growth unless you let them. Engage only with those open to learning, and let go of the need for validation. This reflects the Zen teaching of detachment from external opinions. Seeking validation from those who lack understanding diverts energy from meaningful pursuits. Intelligent individuals prioritize their growth and integrity, knowing that truth does not require constant defense. The story of the seeker and the master did not end with those lessons. Like the flowing river that carves its path, the journey of wisdom is endless. Here, the seeker's tale expands into deeper reflections and nuanced understandings of avoiding these three traps, the depths of avoiding uncontrollable desires. As the seeker grew in wisdom, he began to notice how desires manifested in subtle, insidious ways. It was not just wealth or power that people chased, it was the relentless hunger for recognition, the need to outshine others, or the craving for comfort at all costs. One day, a farmer visited the seeker and said, Wise one, I toil day and night, yet I feel empty. I thought success would bring me peace. But the more I achieve, the more restless I become. The seeker smiled gently and replied, let me tell you a story. He spoke of a man who collected treasures from across the land. Each time he found a rare gem, his joy was brief, for he immediately sought the next. One day, the man grew weary and asked a wise sage, why do I feel no joy from my wealth? The sage handed him a small cup and said, Go to the river and fill this cup. Drink only as much as you need to quench your thirst. The man did as instructed and found that a single sip satisfied him. The sage then said, Now try to drink the entire river. The man laughed, That is impossible. The sage replied, Exactly. In the same way. Desires cannot be quenched by acquiring more. True satisfaction comes from understanding what is enough. The farmer nodded, the story awakening a new perspective. What is enough for me? He murmured, and with that question, his journey of self-discovery began. Uncontrollable desires are like fire, they grow stronger the more they are fed. An intelligent person recognizes the difference between needs and wants, finding fulfillment not in endless accumulation but in gratitude and moderation. This reflects the Buddhist principle of Santosh, contentment as a key to inner peace, the layers of impermanence. The lesson of impermanence unfolded in new ways for the seeker as he observed the changing seasons of life. One spring, a fierce storm destroyed a nearby grove of ancient trees. Villagers mourned the loss of the grove, but the seeker observed something profound. Weeks later, green shoots began to emerge from the barren land. The forest, though changed, was being reborn. He shared this observation with his students, saying, Impermanence is not only about endings, it is also about beginnings. What seems like loss often gives birth to renewal. One student asked, but how do we accept impermanence when the loss is personal and painful? 
The seeker replied, imagine holding a handful of sand. If you cling too tightly, it slips through your fingers. But if you hold it gently, it remains with you until the wind takes it away. So it is with life. Acceptance allows us to hold our experiences lightly, cherishing them without resisting their natural flow. The student reflected deeply on these words, finding comfort in the idea that even pain is part of the greater cycle of life. Impermanence does not negate the value of what we cherish, it enhances it by reminding us to appreciate each moment. An intelligent person learns to embrace life's transitions with grace, understanding that change is the essence of existence. This aligns with the Buddhist teaching of Viparinamadukkha, the suffering caused by resisting change, the strength of ignoring the unwise. As the seeker became a teacher, he often encountered those who sought to challenge his wisdom, not to learn, but to provoke. One such individual mocked him in front of a gathering, calling his teachings naive and irrelevant, the seeker responded with calm. He turned to the audience and said, let me share a story. He told of a traveler who encountered a barking dog. Instead of engaging with the dog or trying to quiet it, the traveler simply continued on his way. The dog eventually grew tired and wandered off. The traveler's journey was undisturbed, the seeker concluded, after the gathering, one follower asked, why didn't you defend yourself? The seeker replied, arguing with someone who does not seek understanding is like shouting at an echo. The sound only bounces back, accomplishing nothing. An intelligent person saves their energy for what matters. This teaching resonates with the Buddhist concept of yupekkha, or equanimity. Seeking validation from those unwilling to understand is a futile effort that drains emotional energy. Wise individuals cultivate inner confidence and focus on meaningful connections, avoiding the distractions of unnecessary conflict, weaving the lessons together. Years later, the seeker reflected on how these three principles, avoiding uncontrollable desires, accepting impermanence, and ignoring the unwise, were interconnected. He observed, desires often stem from attachment to impermanence, we crave what we fear losing, clinging to impermanence makes us vulnerable to the opinions of others, we seek validation to affirm what we fear is fleeting. Seeking validation distracts us from understanding the root of our desires and attachments, he taught his students, these three traps feed one another, creating a cycle of suffering. Avoiding them is not a single act but a practice of awareness. By observing your thoughts and actions, you can step out of the cycle and into clarity. The Timeless Wisdom of Avoidance As the seeker's life neared its end, he shared one final teaching, intelligence is not in how much you know but in how you live. To avoid what entangles the mind is to free the heart. Live simply, with purpose, and let go of what does not serve you. This is the way of wisdom. His words became a guiding light for generations. A testament to the enduring power of Zen and Buddhist philosophy, in the stillness of the seeker's passing, his students realized that his greatest teaching was not in words but in the peaceful way he had lived. This story encapsulates the essence of Zen and Buddhist teachings. 1. Avoiding uncontrollable desires fosters contentment and liberates the mind from unnecessary striving. 2. Accepting impermanence brings peace and gratitude, allowing us to live fully in the present. 3. Ignoring. The unwise protects our energy and preserves our focus on what truly matters. Each principle is a stepping stone toward a life of clarity, balance, and inner freedom. Intelligent individuals who embrace these truths and navigate life's complexities with wisdom. Creating harmony both within themselves and in the world around them, 
In this way, the seeker's journey is not just his own, it is a path open to all who choose to walk it. Thanks for watching. Hope enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Just click the subscribe button below and hit the notification bell so you never miss an update. Also, feel free to leave a comment and let me know what you'd like to see next. See you in the next video.